everybody deserves to be represented. And Vinnie Palermo chose not to resign. Just moments ago, Omaha's mayor calls out Vinnie Palermo for refusing to step down while knowing he couldn't represent the people of his district. But today, after three months of unexcused absences in a unanimous vote, he loses his seat on Omaha City Council. I'm Rob McCart. I'm Julie Cornell. Palermo remains in jail awaiting his federal corruption trial. But the mayor says this is a step forward for the community he once represented. You'll hear more from her in a moment. First, KETV Newswatch 7's Alex McLoon is live with today's vote. Julie, Rob, city officials believe this is an unprecedented move, saying they've only removed two city council members in recent past, but not for reasons like this. The seat is now officially vacated. The Omaha City Council officially removes Vinny Palermo, the soonest they could take action based on city charter. Some would have liked to have seen a vote to vacate the seat sooner than that, but I want everyone to understand that we're obligated to follow the city charter in these matters and state laws. Council members notified Palermo's attorney who declined to comment to KETV Tuesday. Palermo is in Saunders County Jail awaiting federal trial after pleading not guilty. Facing nine felony charges from fraud to corruption, the allegations have shocked neighbors. One telling me they can't believe Palermo allegedly used money meant for Pace and the Latino Peace Officers Association. City officials say it's an unprecedented move, only removing two members in the past, Rich Pauls, who went on to the state legislature, and Chuck Seegerson, who suffered a stroke, as officials now deal with the fallout left behind by Palermo. I will continue to pray for Vinny and his family as they go through this because it's a tough ordeal, not only for the city and District 4, but also his personal family, what they're going through. People who live in District 4 have two weeks to apply to the vacancy, a window ending August 15th. Officials will check backgrounds and credentials before public interviews start September 7th. Then City Council anticipates electing a new council member September 12th, who will then take the oath of office September 26th. City leaders say it'll be a thoughtful and urgent process. I would concur. I think this has been very difficult um, for everyone. Uh, this isn't something that the allegations are such that will be worked out in, in federal court, um, but there's enough there uh, that the federal court has chosen not to release uh, Mr. Palermo pending his trial. I'm told about a handful of names are interested in applying for the vacancy. Names include Andrew Adams and Rebecca Barrientos Platten. Reporting live, Alex McClune, KETV News Watch 7. All right, Alex, thanks. And Mayor Jean Stothard says while she doesn't have a say in who will replace Vinnie Palermo, she hopes the council will move as quickly as possible. It's been three months now without representation. <clears throat> I hope it won't be another two, meaning five months, you know, uh, without representation.